Aw, oh, that didn't even give me what I wanted. Ow! Ooh. You kind of tracked me there. Yeah! Nice. Uh, he's not done. And he's got friends now. All right. Uh-oh, he's coming. He's coming. Move. Oh, crap. Okay, we're okay. Ish. We're not okay. We're dead. Damn. Okay, um... Note to self. Move if he starts kind of doing that. Whoops. Did not mean to swing towards him. Okay. Why do I have my silencer? I do not want. Yeah, you can't get me. I'm killing someone. Okay, I could use some ammo, so let's try and get some. Not not that. That's not ammo. Hello. Just gonna walk. Oh. Maybe not. No thanks. Okay, they actually just keep coming, don't they? And he kills them too. That didn't work. Ow. Ouch. Hey, you're next to me somewhere. Okay, just need to get behind you. Where'd that other guy go? I don't even know. It's cool. No, didn't get him. No, not enough for the shoulder shot there. Come on. Bring it on, buddy. I could probably get him before he swings. But that's not a good idea, I imagine. I guess I'll try it. Yes! That froze. That was weird. Is his head revealed? I think it is. Yes, it is. Forget even waiting. Alright. I'm just gonna kick your ass now. I think we took some brain matter out there. And that's how you kill a giant zombie. He still looks like he's breathing. He totally looks like he's breathing still. Yeah, if anyone's a zombie, it's this guy. This guy's got a horrifying face. Got some Silent Hill crap going on there, and he's kind of going away. Well, that's interesting. Okay, grab a little more ammo, and let's get the hell out of here and try to save Himiko. Not Himiko, <laughs> Sam from Himiko is what I was trying to think of. Oh, Matthias, you bastard, I'm gonna kill you. That did not work. Jeez, this guy just keeps coming. No, I don't think so, buddy. And that gun. Yeah. The dual guns? Oh, that's awesome. Giving me chills right now. That is so sweet. That's a fantastic way to end it.
pop like a balloon. The storm seems to be clearing up. That was that was pretty epic at the end there. I did like the way that they finished this out. I'm guessing Laura's message is going to be in this final um, scene. So it's not during actual gameplay. There's Laura! She's got Sam! She did it. Reyes is like, God damn it, I have to eat my words. I think she's going to be okay. blind, so naive. For years, I resented my father, doubted him like the rest. But he was right about so much. I just wish I could tell him that now. There are so many mysteries that I once dismissed as mere stories, but the line between our myths and truth is fragile and blurry. I need to find answers. I must understand. Anything? Mm. Don't really know what happened to you on that island. Judging from those wounds and that look in your eyes, I'm guessing I don't want to know. Anyway, we'll be home soon. I'm not going home. Definitely some fantastic moments in this game. I uh, I really, really did love this. Uh, especially as far as a reboot of Tomb Raider goes, I really, really like this a lot. And I would highly recommend this to anyone who wants to play a Tomb Raider game. Especially those who have never played one before, because this feels a lot easier to get into than um, some of the old ones. Some of those can be a little bit clunky. This one did have its glitches here and there, which were um, kind of a nuisance, but they weren't that bad. Um, I would have to say that I give this a 9 out of 10, and that's mainly because of one, the glitches, and two, the, the tombs didn't feel all that puzzling. In all honesty, I, I felt like they could have been more difficult to, uh, to figure out. And I would have liked if they were more difficult to figure out. But overall, this game was awesome. I loved the gameplay. It felt very smooth, other than a few glitches here and there. Um, I loved being able to upgrade the weapons, even though I was upgrading it with chunks of animals somehow. I don't know how that works. Um, and I, I just all around really loved the way that this, uh, this all came together. It was a fun game. The mechanics in it are fun. 
Um, the fighting is fun. The story itself is, is very well made. I thought they did a pretty good job on developing the story here. Other than the fact that Laura seemed like she was playing dumb towards the end of the game, which was kind of silly because I felt it was very, very easy to figure out that there was something going on with Sam in the way of a ritual. Um, and somehow she's going to probably get killed. She's either going to be sacrificed to um, resurrect Himiko, or there's going to be some kind of soul transference, which is what it turned out to be. Um, and Sam's going to be dead. So I don't know why Laura didn't figure that earlier. Um, maybe I'm just... Uh, kind of looking at it weird because I tend to guess the way stories are going to go and other people don't. Maybe Laura's just one of those other people, but I felt like it was a little bit predictable at that point and I felt like Laura should have realized earlier um, before she even got to the uh, the monastery and the, uh, the ritual chamber and all that kind of stuff when she was like, oh, I remember hearing these things a little while ago and uh, that means that it's this, but it's like, come on, you could have put two and two together even earlier than that. At least I think that she could have. But yeah, definitely, definitely a very good game. I really love this. Really love this game. And um, the way it's set up uh, at the end obviously looks like she's going on another adventure somewhere. Um, so a Laura Croft 2 would be something I would totally love to see in the future. Uh, of course, there was already a Laura Croft 2, but you, you know what I mean, the reboot Laura Croft 2. That would be very neat to uh, to see. Um, I know some of you are probably going to ask, are you going to be doing uh, the earlier Laura Croft games? And my answer to that is, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I have no idea. Um, I was actually trying to set up something with um, someone with the uh, Guardian of Light game which is definitely very, very different from both this game and the original games, but it's still very fun. Um, I definitely recommend that game, too, if you haven't uh, ever played Guardian of Light, especially if you can uh, find a friend to play it with. So far, my main problem uh, with trying to do it multiplayer was my friend's internet is not so hot, so there was a lot of lag going on, and it didn't quite work out. Oh well, we'll maybe figure out something in the future, I don't know. But uh, definitely pick up this game, definitely play it, and definitely look at it as a brand new game. Don't, uh, don't measure it by the old games. I know it does have references to the old games, but this is kind of like a game on its own. And I think that's the way I'm going to have to look at uh, this new Thief game coming out, and I'm, I'm really, really hoping that it's going to be good. I've, I've actually seen some new stuff for Thief, and considering the fact that uh, the new Thief game is kind of tied in with the developers of this, especially because that's Eidos Montreal right there, um, maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be really good. I'm, I'm really hoping for that. Uh, especially with the stealth in this game, it really did feel like very good stealth, and um, I could appreciate stealth like that being in a Thief game. Of course, I really hope it's first person, because I'm used to Thief being first person. On the other hand, it's not going to have Steven Russell as Garrett, so that's going to probably throw off my immersion a bit there. You know, whatever. Hopefully it'll be good. This was good. And so far everything from Square Enix and um, Eidos Montreal, and now Crystal Dynamics um, with this game, has been very good. So I'm kind of hopeful, even though I've been um, kind of down on the new Thief game. It's, it's been worrying me, but I am hopeful. Because this game was good, Deus Ex was good, um, it could be good in the end could very well be good in the end. Definitely get this game, though. Anyway, I will uh, leave you with these credits. Um, if there is anything after the credits, like stuff that we've unlocked, um, I'll go try and check that stuff out. Otherwise, um, it's been fun playing this game with you guys. I hope you've all enjoyed, and um, bye until the next Let's Play, or whatever's after the credits. <laughs>